What's going on everybody, it's Carlos here once again. Now, this is gonna be a vlog style video, but it's good because uh, since I got this new TV, which I am gonna be doing a review of, um, I decided I don't need a cable box in here. I have one in my two main rooms where I do a lot of my TV watching, but I'll be honest, I started doing a lot more TV watching since I got this TV here. This is a 60 inch Hisense 4K HDR TV, so it's pretty awesome. But with that being said, I do have an NVIDIA Shield um, box here, right there. And I decided, to, uh, yes, I have online streaming and everything, but if I want to check out some local channels and high def, like the Super Bowl and other sports uh, programming like the NBA, because um, it's played now at this time of year, it's played on ABC, um, I needed one of these guys. I already went through one that was a 1080i. This claims to be 1080p, so I'm gonna put it together and let's find out if it works. So I have it hooked up directly behind my TV and let's take a look to see. You can see it right there, cables are hooked up and it's pretty self-explanatory. I shouldn't have to really tell you how to hook this up. It's literally, you use the coax cable and that's it, pretty much as easy as that. So now let's find out if this actually, uh, how many channels this gets. It's supposed to have a 50 mile range. Plus I have the uh, booster antenna on it or the amplifier. So let's see what happens. So you're gonna wanna make sure you go your tuner mode, make sure you hit antenna or cable. Obviously we're hitting antenna. Now go to auto channel scan and it'll proceed. And we're just gonna have to fast forward through this part. So now it's completed. It only says I found seven, so I'm gonna mess around with it and try to see if I can find another uh, optimal spot for it. But uh, for right now, it says complete. All right, so it looks like we were able to pick up some channels. You can see here's my menu and I picked up about 27 channels. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the only downside is it says it's supposed to be a 1080p, but a lot of these stations are only recorded in, uh, well, let's see, like in 1080i or some, some of them are like just straight up 720. So let me go to one here's, I believe this is CBS News. See, it shows on the top right hand corner, it says 1080i. So it's supposed to be 1080p, it's not showing up as 1080p, I don't know what that's about, but uh, that's the only disappointment with this so far. The antenna is pretty good but it's not showing 1080i. I'm gonna have to look on my local stations to see if there is an actual 1080 uh, support in this area. Maybe that's the case. So that's gonna conclude that. Um, let me know if this helped you out anyway. If you were kind of looking at one of these things, I know in today's day and age, people still are rocking the cable in that house. I still have it, but not all my TVs, cause you know additional boxes cost more so I figured in this case, I use more of this TV for streaming. So I might as well just keep it as a streaming TV with the ability to use um, the antenna to get local HCTV channels. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that bell and I'll see you around.